Kenyans for Israel wamepinga jaribio lolote kutumia Kenya kama kitovu cha kueneza taarifa potu uvu kuhusiana na mzozo kati ya Israeli na Palestina wakikashifu mauaji au watosukua na hatia hiyo uharibifu wa mali wakati wa mipigano baina ya mataifa hayo katika muda wa majuma mawili yaliyopita viongozi hao sasa wanataka suluhu ya kudumu kupewa kipaumbele aidha wamekaribisha hatua ya kusitisha mapigano baada ya mwingilio wa rais wa Marekani Joe Biden na mwenzake wa Misri Abdel Fattah al-Assis Since there is no single country in the world which will sit back and wait for some terrorist organization to kill her innocent people without doing anything Israel responded to this provocation by exercising her duty to defend herself and her citizen against the infringement of her sovereignty and uh, freedom to ensure that her citizens are safe and her borders are secure. We regret the loss of lives in Israel and in Gaza. So whether Israelis or Palestinians, no death should have taken place. And then furthermore, pain and suffering experienced especially by women and children. There has also been destruction of property on both sides leading to the economic meltdown during these days of violence. Now, we would like to urge the media, uh, and you are part of it, <laughs> of course, and the international community to be objective and balanced in reporting of the conflict that has just ended uh, between <laughs> the, 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 uh, the, the Hamas and the Israeli military. In the past 11 days, now we have been greatly dismayed to see and hear many countries of the world castigating and singling out Israel as the cause of this conflict. We thank God that as we speak now, a ceasefire between Israel and the terrorist group in Gaza Strip took effect from 2 a.m. today, Friday the 21st uh, of May 2021.